everyone, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. If you watched my previous video about Azure Storage File Shares, you will notice this topology shows in my previous video, which give you idea how you can use remote AAD joined machine using P2S VPN tunnel to access your Azure Cloud Storage File Shares. If you already have your local Active Directory server, then you may want to integrate your on-prem AD with your Azure Cloud Storage. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple simple steps to enable Azure File Share with a local AD DSS authentication. We're going to download and zip Azure Files hybrid module, install and execute, and connect to Azure account. After that, we just need to run join AD a storage account with PowerShell command to enable AD DS authentication for your Azure File Shares. But there are some prerequisites you may want to consider before you can enable this Azure Storage File Share integrating with local ADDS authentication. You need to get your ADDS environment ready and you need to install Azure AD Connect to sync your local ADDS account to the Azure AD. Of course, you also need to create your storage account and file shares. The most critical part is the network connections. You need to have Azure VPN created to access your file shares. Since most ISP already blocked the port 445 for your file shares to expose to the internet. There are some workaround we can do it. You can watch my previous video for that as well. But then normally we're gonna use an Azure VPN. Since remote user need to talk to local Active Directory server as well, you also need a local VPN. Those network connection prerequisites will need to meet first. Now let's start. If you have some time, I would strongly suggest you to read Azure document about enable ADDS authentication for your Azure file shares. It's a quite bit long document and there's multiple parts as well. Spend some time definitely will help. You also can read my blog post to tell you the basic simple steps you can follow to finish this task. There are some basic prerequisite requirements and then some quick steps you need to follow with commands and also the output from those commands. You also will get some more information to set up your environment to meet the prerequisite such as install and configure your Azure AD Connect and also install your P2S VPN, how you can configure your Windows client, etc., etc. This is my virtual machine, which I already have Azure AD Connect installed. So now I'm going to directly to download Azure files hybrid.zip list file and also unzip it into one of my folder. I already finished the steps one and two, which is download and unzip Azure files hybrid module, install and execute it. As you can see, I already unzipped the files into this folder. 
I already run the copy to PSPath.ps1 file and I already tried to import the module. At the same time, I already connect to the Azure account as well. So now we just need to run our last step, run join Azure storage account PowerShell command. Of course, I already created my resource group rg fileshare test east us one and create my storage account netsecfs, which you're gonna see it from my PowerShell command. I haven't created any file shares yet, but now it's good time. We're gonna create fs one fileshare one. We're going to create FS2. I'm going to create FS3 for demonstration in this lab. Paste the PowerShell command in. Then let's run. Once it's completed successfully, we should be able to see a new account has been created in our Active Directory, Users and Groups, Storage Account OU. So we do see there's a new computer object, NetSecFS, which is our storage account name, as created as a computer type. Now we finished our setup. We finished our steps to configure Azure Cloud Storage to integrate with on-prem AD. The testing will require your computer on-prem or either on a remote user's computer to use Azure VPN to connect into your storage account file shares. You will need to create a private endpoint for your Azure storage account for your connections as well. So next step, we're going to create a private endpoint. At the same time, we're going to create in our Azure P2S VPN for the connection.